All right, so we have patch 27 and it's pretty epic. So what is going on guys? It is Fortis here. Today we're talking all about patch 27, the doomsday patch. So what are the main key drivers behind patch 27? Well, we have new systems and hostiles, two new TOS officers, a second builder for those dedicated players, new station research for level 40 plus, new missions and events, which the developers are really focusing on this time, and an interesting new ticketed event system. Okay, so let's get right down to the nitty gritty. Uh, if there's any areas you're particularly interested in, please skip ahead. So, why is it called the Doomsday Patch? Well, I'm not going to be going into much de detail right away, but if you haven't already, I highly recommend that you watch the Doomsday TOS original series episode. This will shed a lot of what, what is happening in the storyline of STFC. Okay, so we have 15 new systems with this patch, 10 being used for Doomsday events. Now, the ones bolded mean that they are actually gated uh, by the events, okay? So throughout all of this, we'll be seeing new Doomsday hostile worms, roughly around level 32 to 46. So this is depending on what system you go to. This will be very similar to the Marauder Hostiles in the sense that a level 32 Doomsday Worm will be the same level as a level 34 Marauder Hostile. So to get to some of these systems, you will need a Trans Warp Cell, but no need to worry as this will be sourced through ticketed events, which I'll be explaining later on. So the developers wanted these new Worm Hostiles accessible to everyone. So they figured, you know, we'll put them in an accessible location. You'll find the lower level systems right next to Augment slash Dataspace and the higher level systems right next to Azati. So let's move on now to the second builder. So this is something that everyone has been asking for for a long time. People have been wanting a second ship repair though, but hopefully that's coming soon. Okay, so we have the second builder now, I'm constantly pushing for free-to-play uh, players because, you know, that's where the majority of us are right now. But I'm just going to explain this point real quick. So the second builder will be available for $5. Now, this is something which I'm totally against. I think it should be free. We've all played this game since 2018 and put a considerable amount of time into it. But, you know, we don't live in a perfect world. And there is perceived value given to uh, new items in the game like SDFC. So while people won't be happy that the second builder costs $5, the silver lining here is that it doesn't cost, say, $50. Now, saying that, big spenders will have the option of purchasing the second builder in a $100 pack. This will, of course, give you the second builder plus added resources. Uh, something to note, there will be different inflation values depending on what server you're on. So for example, if you're on an older server, you may see more uncommons, and if you're on a newer server, you'll see less. Don't forget to check the official Discord to check which server you're on. Okay, moving on. We have a bunch of new research available to those level 40 and above. This will initially be gated by a particle, but just for this patch, not for the next patch. So this will kind of ensure on the developer side of things that everything runs smoothly. Um, so what do we have in this research? Well, we have a whopping 60 new nodes, 60 new nodes, four new prime nodes, including a ship path refinery bonus and two new apex nodes. So there's a lot to unravel there. Be sure to check out Noan Shal on YouTube, as I'm sure he'll be covering it as he is level 40 plus. All right, so let's move on now uh, to new officers and missions. As you might have guessed already, we have TOS Officer Sulu and TOS Officer McCoy. Both are big on PvP battles, and we'll see in the coming months how good they are in the field. One thing you might notice though, is that they are pretty heavy on explorabilities. Now is the time, if any, 
to use that shiny new enterprise. Okay, so both of these TOS offices will be, will be available through new TOS Recruit Special Chest, and the tokens for these will be coming through ticketed events. I'll mention ticketed events at the end of the video. Um, so we have already gone through so much. So let's talk about the missions because I know a lot of people care about those too. So we have one new core mission chain. This will include 10 mini missions ranging from level 27 plus um, and three side mission chains ranging from level 27 plus to level 40 plus. So there's a wide variety of content, especially story-wise. Uh, all right, so next up we have ticketed, ticketed events. Now, I think it's important to explain this because this will really become foundational to this arc and to future arc events. So there's a bunch of new events where players will be able to choose what they want to do. This will range from solo events, power events, alliance events, and much, much more. They will run weekly with multiple events per day, and each event will cost one ticket to run. Now, if you participate in the Battle Pass, uh, the free version of the Battle Pass at least, you'll be able to gather enough tickets to participate in one free event per day, which in, in looking at this, it ain't too bad. So something to note, the ticketed events will only be, will be the only source of the Doomsday Warp tokens. Uh, they will also be the main source of the TOS officer tokens, and they will be a source of the Apex Research Medal. So something to note there too. Um, so as you can see, the developers are really turning ticketed events into something big. So you'll have to pick up and choose your events in order, you know, to receive the best value for you. But I think that, you know, this is a step in the right direction in terms of where the game is going. The fact that you can get some of these for free in the battle pass is pretty good. Now, if you want to get more tickets, you can purchase them in the packs. Again, I'm just putting, a, putting that out there, not really endorsing it. Uh, so these ticketed events will be starting this arc and will be ongoing throughout the future. So keep that in mind too. All right, so we have, this has been a preview of patch 27. We have new events, new systems, new hostiles, two new TOS officers, a second builder, new station research for level 40 plus, new missions, and a new ticketed event system. There's so much more coming in this patch and I really can't wait until it hits. And guys, I mentioned this earlier, but if you haven't got the Enterprise or even, you know, the ISS Black Jellyfish, get it now. Or, you know, if it needs upgrading, do it now before the patch. All right, guys, stay safe.